Hi my gardening angels, welcome back to my channel. I am Jess, if you are new here. I am in my new house, this is my new desk, so you might be seeing it often. Um, I just wanted to, to let you guys know that we are moved back in and finally here, and I'm so excited because it's only been two weeks before I've been able to mess with my plants and kind of evaluate some of the damage. So in this video, I wanted to show you kind of what a frozen succulent looks like and why you should not let your succulents freeze. Um, I saw recently that Arizona just got a bunch of snow and my heart just broke a little just thinking about all those succulents that probably froze out there. Um, but I have a succulent here that has some pretty good examples of what a frozen succulent looks like. Um, and then I also learned a lot and would do a lot of things differently when moving my succulents um, in the middle of winter because I think it was negative 14 on the day that we moved. So I wanted to kind of show you guys, or I guess tell you guys what I would have done differently. Okay, so with moving, we kind of made a few mistakes. So I put them in some cardboard boxes, which actually held up pretty good. Um, and then we tried keeping them in our compartment of our car that stays a little bit warmer, and I think those ones did okay. Um, the ones we had problems with were the ones that we had to put in the trailer to move. Uh, we got a huge cooler and we put the succulents in there, and I think what I would have changed a little bit is that I would have put in some of those heat packs that you can buy online or, you know, whatever that they send succulents with in the winter. I think I would have put some of those in there and I think that would have made a huge difference. Um, I also would take any succulents that you have in clay pots out and put them in plastic ones because with this one, I think the clay pot got really cold and then it hurt the edge of the succulent a lot with the leaves that were touching that one. Um, also, do not water your succulents before you move them because if it is cold outside, the water will get a lot colder quicker. So definitely make sure you're transporting dry succulents. I think that was a problem I had with one of my jades is that I watered it shortly before we left and it kind of turned into a rotted mess. So don't do that. Um, but yeah, let's get a close up of this plant. Okay, so this is my huge frills that I just adored. Um, and as you can see, it's not looking so hot. Um, <laughs> so these are now crispy because it's been two weeks since I moved them. But when I first got back, um, it kind of looked similar to this with these purple edges. Let's see if I can get a better shot of it. So as you can see, these edges are kind of purpley. Um, they're crispy now, but they were really mushy. Um, I'm going to be removing these leaves because they're just, well, one, I, unsightly, but also probably not helping the plant too much. Um, so the thing that I mentioned about the clay pot is these leaves were kind of resting along this clay pot, and I think that's where most of them died because I have already removed a lot of leaves around these edges. Sorry about my voice, by the way. I have been sick for these past few days, so my voice is a little rough today. <laughs> But, um, but like as you can see, there's new growth on the inside, so I think that's fine. And I've been keeping an eye on these leaves here to see if the black is spreading in, um, you know, to like kind of monitor the rot a little bit. Um, but I think for the most part, it's just been around these edges, and then I think these ones should be healthy now, and then. I'm expecting this one to just grow back. The root system looks good, the stem looks good, it's mainly just these outside leaves that kind of look frozen. And then with my jade plant, I kind of wanted to show you just a leaf that I didn't throw out yet. Um, but there's black edges around all of this and it rotted on the inside and got weirdly squishy, it got shiny, um, the end result from that. it didn't turn out so good. So I'm going to be throwing this leaf away too. Okay, so we are in my bedroom currently and this is where I decided to set up the grow light. You can see that I need to raise this one up a little bit. Um, but this is kind of the setup that I've got going on. These are the seeds. They are bad. Um, <laughs> they have 
tipped over, dried out, you know, whatever. I think there is one or two pots in there that I think are salvageable that I will be showing you a little bit later. We went to Lowe's and because we have this new carpet in here, we picked up these mats down here, these rubber mats. Um, in case any dirt spills or water or whatever, we didn't want the carpet to be ruined, so we did that. Um, I'm going to be taking all of my succulents and repotting them because they're kind of a mess. So I dropped one of the boxes, and so you can see this one's not really potted, it's sunken in. Um, there's ones randomly everywhere. This is just a cup of succulents that fell. So, you know, they're not doing great. So I want to kind of redo all of these. I have some bags of dirt down here, um, and I kind of want to clean this up and see how many of my grow lights I'm actually using, because then I can shut one off if needed, save a little bit on electricity. Um, but, but for Valentine's Day, I am getting a few more succulents. My husband and I are going to go to the nursery and pick out a few more houseplants. So I wanted to kind of clean this up and see what I'm missing, see what I would like, you know, kind of get a visual of what's going on. Down here I have my frills that I'm going to clean up first, and then I've removed a bunch of leaves from my jade plant. So I'm going to propagate those. So I kind of just wanted to show you guys the before and after, um, and then a little bit of in between kind of what I'm doing to fix <laughs> all of these from the move. Okay, so this is my little cup for dead leaves here um, that I'm going to be throwing them in. Ooh. First, let's just do this frills. Here is a little progress update. I have my Lola's all planted up. Um, thankfully, they all survived. They've kind of stretched just slightly. Um, some of my Lily Cena's look good. Some here's the smallest little Lowy you'll probably ever see, but he's doing good. Um, but yeah, that's my progress. I have a dirt tray here that I'm throwing all the dirt in, and I have I have little tiny cuttings along the bottom here. All right, so this is the finished grow shelf. I did shut off this bottom light because I didn't need it. Um, I'll just give you a little tour. So this is a tray. I put some of the jade leaves in here to propagate and some random little babies that I was able to save are now in here. Um, this is my new mothers of thousands. They froze and there was a few babies left that I could salvage. And then I just have some random other pots up here. Uh, and then down here are all my bigger pots. As you can see, my wedding succulents all survived. They all did really well. And then I have some Lola's that did really well too in the move. Um, but these are kind of just the bigger succulents that I have. Down here I have a little tiny tray of leaves. And then I actually put leaves on this mat to kind of see if that would do anything. And then I have my seeds over here um, that are spilled, but some of them are still in the pot, so I'm gonna try to get them to come back. But this shelf is just going to be off until I have the need to put more plants in it. And then, of course, up here I'm going to be using it as storage. So I need to vacuum. It's very dirty <laughs> now around here. But I finally am done. It only took me like three hours to finish. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and then subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Um, I'm going to be trying to post more often now that we're all moved in and I can actually play with my succulents now that they're all put together. So stay tuned. Bye!